want pleasure all the time. We want things to be as we want them to be. Cannot be. I'd like to tell you another story to explain this. There was this king who fell in love with a slave girl. He was madly in love with her. So he thought, I'm going to bring her into the palace. I'm going to marry her. She's so beautiful. And I'm going to make her my wife. So he thought, I'll bring her into the palace, dress her up. But the moment she got to the palace and the beautiful room, she started getting sick. Really sick, physically sick. She was getting thinner and thinner. And the king was like, oh my God, madly, madly in love with her. So he called the physicians. Nobody could say what was wrong with her. So he announced to the country, anybody who can tell me who's, you know, what's wrong with her and save her life, I'll be eternally grateful. So came a priest and he said, he said, can I speak to her? So he went in to speak to the young girl. And he came out to the king and he said, I have the perfect medicine for her. <gasps> oh, thank God. He said, it's the perfect medicine for her, but the worst medicine for you. And he goes, what do you mean? What I'm asking you to do is going to be terribly painful. Stop anything, anything you want. I will. I love this woman. I have to make her well. Well, your slave girl is in love with one of your servants. She wants to marry him. She can't marry you because she feels sick because she's in love with the other one. So if you let her marry him, I guarantee you she will be well. And the king was beside himself. Why watch this? He loved her too much to give her up. He loved her too much to let her die. So what does he do? Nothing. So, and many times we are crippled. We call it love. But if he really loved her, I say, marry her and be alive. But he couldn't, couldn't. And this is, and people always hope, oh, maybe this will happen my way, my way, my way. But sometimes your way is not the best way.